e-government embarked on a journey to deliver the first implementation phase of the e-government initiative in 2007. Our aim was clear to connect the citizens and residents of Bahrain to government services and to streamline those services and make them more accessible to everyone. Four years later, and with over 200 e-services launched and four channels in place, Bahrain stands as an exemplar to the world. Out of 191 member states in the UN e-government readiness index 2010, we rank 13. It is an impressive achievement with over 28 million visits and a staggering 23 million BD worth of transactions. So how has e-government improved the lives of Bahrain citizens and residents? Let us run through a few of the many services available today. Customers of Bahrain Post can set up a mailbox at any of the designated post offices across the country. Annual fees can be paid online too, quickly and easily. Simple. Students from elementary fourth grade to secondary third grade can view their exam results online. And the elderly, disabled, or indeed, any citizen who is needy can apply for social assistance with e-services. Another service is the issue of notary certificates. Citizens and residents can request and pay for notarized certificates or book an appointment with the public notary office online within minutes. And business benefits too with e-services that help to streamline their operations. For example, clearing agents for imports and exports now have faster access to customs affairs services. They can apply for a clearing agent license, apply for a license exam appointment, view information about customs regulations and make information available to citizens and businesses searching for a clearing agent. In fact, there is so much you can do with e-government. Pay your electricity bill, renew a driving license, even check the weather forecast. There really is a service for everyone, at every stage of life, and it is right at your fingertips. So what next for e-government? Well, as future technologies emerge, we are committed to adapting services and channels accordingly. We are in the process of converting more services to our mobile gateway and have plans to deliver 20 plus e-services as apps for smart devices like the iPhone, Blackberry and Android powered mobiles. This will help us connect with more users and increase service uptake. Imagine being able to connect to e-services using a single password. It is called the National Authentication Framework Project and it allows users to connect more easily with the e-services they need. Along with the National Authentication Framework project, users will have a greater level of personalization, making the user experience even more rewarding. Users will be able to customize the look and feel of their interface, as well as set up their preferences for services, get notifications of outstanding bills and contraventions, and receive government announcements that are relevant to them. But the biggest change to come won't only be driven by technology, the government's desire to make information available to all users through its commitment to transparency and the implementation of an open data platform will have a major impact. We are in the initial stages of setting up a public data hub, providing the public with a central point of access to find, 
download and use data sets generated by ministries and other government departments within Bahrain. The hub will make information freely available to the general public and to businesses, allowing them to develop new services, web-based solutions and mobile apps. It is hoped this will help to accelerate the number of services available, providing more choice and greater access to information for all. We also have a large set of services for the private sector, such as the commercial registration service, to improve competitiveness and align Bahrain with its national economic vision 2030, simplifying the process of obtaining a commercial registration and business licenses. Government also benefits greatly from our services. Take Zajil for example, one of the many services offered to the government sector. Zajil delivers improved information exchange between the various ministries, governmental executive body and the Shura and Representatives Council. Zajil is the oil in the system, helping information to flow between government and departments, saving time in correspondence and providing the ability to track the status of requests and actions. An electronic archive will link related information and provide a highly efficient system of information retrieval along with the other government projects related to electronic connectivity and standardization of data. All these projects and initiatives will help to improve e-government and keep us ahead of the curve. We remain committed to delivering a world-class service to all citizens and residents, today and in the future. E-government. Life at your fingertips.